What's going on guys, Grunge Life Gaming back here and in today's video guys we are going to be having a review about Apex Legends Christmas mode event guys as well as just everything included in it guys, the skins, the packs, the new mode, let's get right into it. Guys first of all the new game mode, okay so the new game mode is called Catch the Train, basically it's like zone control, you stay on the train, you stay in the middle car and you wait, I think it's about like 15 seconds and then the train will be yours. And basically in this time you have to defend the train or if anybody like even a squad getting on the train is okay but if they're in that zone now you can't have only like more than one person you know in that zone or else it's not going to you know work right unless it's like your whole squad then it's going to be perfect so it's pretty much exactly like zone control like if you guys know what that is hold the zone uh it's basically that but then when you capture the zone the game's over like you can't go back and recapture it and there's not really a grace period unless you get in there or stall it like why they're in there and it's not like regular zone where it'll just pause uh this one actually like deactivate but again it only takes 15 seconds so i can see why it just deactivates guys basically about this is it goes from round to round so basically if you guys get killed off you will be respawn either if your teammate wins the match or teammates win it you will be immediately respawn into the next round or if you get completely wiped out you won't be respawn until the next stop so usually that'll be about 30 15 seconds it depends where the train is but they tried to equally space them out and then uh for the last part uh just getting back up in the air around like every few you know just like steps there's these like octane jump pads and with them you can like supersonic jump pads you can go and jump back these are really good if you're like one against three and you want to like prolong your lifespan and not just be on the train these are really good for that and just like getting back in the air or if you fall off the train and getting back to it Honestly, I like the train, I like the concept, and I love how they did this event, right? But I'll get more than that in a second to, like, an actual review and rating. But basically, I love what they did with this. Honestly, I don't actually like the game mode, and it's actually split, especially in the community on Twitter. Honestly, I like the whole concept of it, but I'm kind of, I'm still more just with the decorations and the ambiance and just how the decorations turn out in general for the entire map. Now, the train is a nice thing, but honestly, I really don't like Catch's train. I know, I know, I know, but honestly, it's just not one of my favorites. It's not like Shadowfall where I played and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to play another match of this. So, it may click with me, may not. Uh, also, you guys too, it's kind of like interesting if you guys... Remember back in those Destiny 2 days when that was popular, or stuff like that, uh, Halo, things like that, drone control, if you guys are ancient. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to the next thing. Basically, just like the town takeover in general. So basically what happens is this Mirage ship, or his voyage, um, it's basically just this party ship. And tons of people land there. I wish I had gameplay for you guys, but sadly, I cannot last two seconds on there. So sadly, I don't have anything for you guys to show you guys. Uh, you guys can't miss it. There's like fireworks being set off of it. It is insane on that party ship. It is worse than Wraith's bunker, and that thing was trash. I mean, it was like this really combined space. There's like, it's just like crazy. There's smoke everywhere. There's chaos. There's clones everywhere. Like this place, they made this place so toxic. I can't even be there, like, and it's not even special, like, with the Octane thing, like, it does have, like, that loot drone in the middle, but it's not where, like, you can get spaced out and, like, immediately come back in, you have to use ziplines to get back on the ship, unless you're, like, Pathfinder or something, so, honestly, guys, I really like the ship, and I really like, in ranked, if you're the lucky squad to actually survive, usually the best thing to do is actually go to the chest, um, next to it, and loot up, and then once everybody's done killing themselves and all super weak, go on and get those easy kills. That's basically what I found to be the easiest. Um, I haven't played that many, but that place is insane and there's so many people there. And literally within two minutes, it's cut down to ten squads in the lobby. It's insane. Now guys, moving on to the skins and packs. Now guys, they, just like every other heirloom i really like how they did this they incorpor they like just incorporated everything into this like new just event it has a new mode new skins and it has a new like spot you know like a event spot like mirages thing so they kind of actually added like everything they would like it's all three of them combined so i really like how they did that we're still waiting on solos and duos mode if that will drop We'll see, like, especially it's supposed to be our Christmas present that we get, like, a duos and uh, solos mode. Could come permanently, could not, so we'll have to see about that. 
Anyway, going back to that, the cosmetics. Now, guys, what happened was it's just like every other collection event that we've had. It's actually kind of funny. What happens is you have to open 24 packs, and these include holiday skins and things from that. And then if you open all those 24, you immediately get the heirloom for free. Um, there's really no way to buy it, like, you know, avoid that. You have to open 24 of the packs, but then again, you get it for free, so, um... You get to decide if it's a bargain for you or not. Um, anyway, going forward with that, it's kind of interesting how they decided to just, like, organize this. What happens is all the characters have all their Christmas event skins and a few weapons have their, you know, skins on them too. And again, you open up all these packs. And once you get 24 of these things or, you know, you buy the packs and then you collect all of them, you know, um, you have to open 24 packs, and then immediately you'll get the uh, Pathfinder Heirloom. Uh, I don't really, like I said earlier, it's okay deal, and that's basically it. It is a collection event. Like I told you, it's like the whole shebang. They got everything in there. So, basically, it's honestly just that. Now, guys, for my review, you guys have all been waiting for this, obviously. Um, I kind of actually rate it. I gotta rate this a 10 out of 10. This is my first 10 out of 10 I'm going to give them. Um, guys, honestly, because they put so much work into it, honestly, and they gave us everything, really. Like, you know, like I said earlier, they gave us the new cosmetics, the new catch, the train mode, and finally, the Mirage ship, whatever you guys want to call it, his town takeover. Um, and that's basically it. They put everything in there, and I know they put a lot of work into this. They definitely decorated the map, and they outdid themselves on that, too. Um, there was nothing really fun. I thought they would have, like, some kind of, like, tubing hill. Kind of thing like what they have in you know octane's gauntlet you know where you'd go around you go down the slides on the jump pads things kind of fun like that um i guess i just really didn't have time i didn't know it was actually gonna be a ship um they really didn't actually specify on that we all thought it was gonna be like an elf workshop like santa's village so that kind of threw me off a lot um but yeah guys that's basically it um hope you guys like the new event um, I do just like it uh, because of the decorations and stuff like that. I might have a pack opening. I'll have to think about that. But I really want that um, overpriced heirloom set so badly. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment down below. Please subscribe if you guys are new. And stay tuned for all the newest Apex Legends content. And if you guys are subscribed, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Support is always great. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, guys, tell me anything I missed down in the comments, and hopefully I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.